So the Atom is a portable power device which gives you USB power, 12 volt power and 230 AC power. So it gives you a myriad of options to use wherever you are. I noticed a trend that people always need power and everything that was on the market that, at the time was just a generic sort of power bank which gives you USB power. So I looked at making something that allowed you to have USB power in the 12 volt and the option of the AC. There's nothing really that matches it on the market at the moment because of the, like I said, about having the AC power. And also the other beauty of it as well is it's designed to work with a solar panel so it can be totally recharged with a solar panel. So, you know, you can, you can use it for as long as you want until it runs right down and then just plug in the solar panel within, you know, four or five hours in the nice sunny day, it's fully back charged again. The Atom comes in two sizes, as in power sizes. So we've got a 78,000 and a 60,000. They both look exactly the same, feel exactly the same and, 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 and give you the same options. But the, the 60,000 is if we're talking about a, a smartphone, which is a general question we get all the time, you're talking about 25 charges, the 78,000 up to around 30 charges. But again, couple it with the solar panel and it's endless power. So the limitations are obviously the AC side of things is this is up to 200 watt peak and 150 watt constant. So what that means is things like leisure products are absolutely fine. If you start taking high powered items like kettles, three bar fires and anything like that, it's just not going to power it. You know, you've got to take into consideration the size of it and the portability of it. And that's why we kept it small, but it still allows you to power a lot of your everyday devices. And if you do plug something in that it doesn't like, or it's too high powered, Atom will look after itself and turn itself off anyway. Built in with a BMS, which is the battery management system. So what it does, um, cycles the battery charging and, and things like that, just basically helping the batteries maintain themselves so you get a lot longer lasting power pack. So lithium ion, that, that's, a, that's a typical sort of lithium ion cell. Um, and the atom is made up of various um, amounts of, of, of the lithium cells. So in the 60,000, there's 26, and in the 78, there's 30, 30 of these cells. Now, the lithium ion cell we went for is because, well, two main reasons. One is the, the, the power density, so it actually holds more power and lasts longer, and also the longevity of the cell um, compared to like a lithium polymer battery. The lithium polymer battery is not designed for la last for years and years and years, whereas a lithium ion battery is. The stadium effect is basically how a battery charges. If you can imagine a stadium as, a, as the stadium effect and people going into the stadium, if you can imagine each person as a, as a bit of power. So you imagine the first person who walks into a stadium, 70,000 seats completely empty, it's easy for him to go down and sit down. As the stadium gets more full, the more power that's going in there, the last bit of power or the last sort of 10 guys that are going in that stadium or the last 10% that's going in that stadium, they've got to look around and try and find that power. They've got to try and find where they're going to put that power and sit down. So it takes a little bit longer. And that's why you always find with the Atom that the last sort of 10% always takes that a little bit longer. It's just trying to squeeze as much power in there as it can. Like anything, the, the batteries love to be exercised. So use it, discharge it and charge it. You probably hear it quite a lot about um, you should always discharge your, your lithium devices and fully charge them again. The Atom has exactly the same uh, concept inside, but again, the battery management system will also help it look after that. If we plug in sort of four devices into the USBs, if a device is full, it'll actually turn that USB off. So it's not wasting power. You can charge other power banks from, from the Atom because of the AC socket, allowing it to basically charge other batteries. So um, you always need that higher power basically to, to charge another power bank. Uh, and like I say, it's probably one of the only ones on the market that will allow you to do that. So fast charging and power delivery, again, is through the USBs. Um, so what it basically means is if you've got a device which is capable of taking a fast charge, if the USB is capable of giving it the fast charge, it will give it the fast charge. But also you've got to remember with, with the AC socket as well, um, if you've got a device which is a really high power device, you can just plug in your normal wall socket and charge it as normal anyway. The digital UID allows the user to have a visual ear to see exactly how much power is. There's a lot of power banks on the market we see just have like uh, maybe three LED lights or four LED lights or something like that, or some of them have none. So the user doesn't actually know how low he's getting on power. And the beauty of having a digital display like this is you can actually see how much power you're using and how much power you've got left. So it allows you to forecast, say for instance, how long if you need to get your solar charger out and recharge it or whether you need to charge it up again. Press and hold on the top, uh, you get your three watt torch on there, nice and easy to hold when you're looking around, whatever you're doing. 
press and hold to turn it off so you don't accidentally turn it on. The atoms weigh um, around about two kilograms. The, the 60,000 is two kilograms, the 78,000 is a smidgen over two kilograms. You wouldn't really notice it. It's a really fantastic bit of kit because it has options of having an AC, a USB, and a 12 volt. You've got pretty much everything covered that you would ever take, whether you're going fishing or camping and things like that. And also the beauty of it with the solar power with the solar panel is it can recharge totally off grid. So you're not dependent on being close to a plug socket. Um, you know, you, you can literally take this off grid and not to you. As long as we've got sun in the sky, you're always going to have power with the atom.